Hey guys, so a couple of weeks ago I was at my music school's winter formal. I won a flute! Here it is, Jupiter student model flute. I put in $10 total for a few raffle tickets and one of them won. So I technically got this for 10 bucks, even though it's at least $400. When I thought about it, doing a review just of the flute itself didn't really make sense because you really have to compare it with another flute, so I brought my old flute, a Yamaha. First off, let's talk about the case. Do you see these buckles here? You open the lever here, put this down. And then if you do it to the other side too, then it'll just open up really nicely. It's really secure on both sides, whereas the Jupiter one just opens like that. And that's it, which is, it's kind of alarming. Here we go. And, and that's the flute. I don't find it really secure. If you're going to get a Jupiter and you plan to keep it for a long time, I would actually invest in a different case. This looks like it's supposed to open down like that. I've actually had several students open their cases upside down. When I first opened it at the winter formal, I, I opened it upside down, so. Don't make a video like this, by the way. It's very dangerous for your flute. Um, but anyway. Comes with these little slips called silver savers. So you put it in with your case. It prevents the silver from tarnishing. It's good, but you don't really need it for a student model flute because they're silver plated. So it doesn't really matter if it gets tarnished or not because these flutes are made to endure practically anything. Let me bring it up real close so you guys can see. It fits so loosely. See how it juts out of the case? Let's open the Yamaha one. Okay, so you open it like this. Look how nicely nested inside that is. That's nice, seriously. If you're opening this up on your lap, this is not gonna move around. Look at that huge gap right there there's huge gaps all over the place inside the case it can literally just fall right out however what i like about the newer flutes these days because i got mine back in 1998 the flutes now they come with a cleaning rod that's i think this is wood this is wood that's really good because then it won't scratch the inside of your flute it's nice and thick and it's very soft. My old one came with a metal cleaning rod. I mean like, why would you do that? It seriously scratched up my entire flute on the inside. Like no, three pieces, head joint, body, foot joint. I know a lot of you flute nerds are like, I already knew that. Head joints, let's go with Jupiter first. I don't know if you noticed, but the Jupiter one is way higher in pitch. Look, look, look at the bottom. Look at how much longer mine is. It's crazy much longer. I know you guys are like, really? That makes a difference? Yes, it really does. The longer the tube is, the lower the note is. You know, like pan pipes, like the longer ones produce lower notes, the shorter ones produce higher notes. This is the Yamaha, this is the Jupiter. The Yamaha is clearly thinner. That's also going to mess with the tuning. Wow, this is very loose. You never want this crown piece to be loose. There's a little cork in there. It can move around and mess up the tuning completely, which you don't want to do. Look at the cut of the Yamaha. Steady it. Nice and pretty and beautiful. Yeah. Now look at this one. This side, look. It's completely irregular. Like this is like... This one will have a much sharper edge to the sound than this one. Jupiter is also a bigger hole, but it's irregular. It's easier for the student to get a sound out of it, but it's just, it's not as nice a sound. The Yamaha is just, it's more refined in the way it's made. What do you flute nerds think? Yamaha, Jupiter. Let me give you a nice kind of, ooh, yeah. This is Jupiter. Just so you can see the design. This is Yamaha. Okay, do you know what the difference is? If you look really closely at how high the keys are from the tone holes, it's actually quite close to the keys. Whereas this one, it's higher up. Directly compare the two. That also messes with the tuning. So these two flutes just tune completely differently.
lower register. <laughs> Jupiter. We did middle register. Let's do high register stuff. So there you go. You can let me know in the comments below which one you liked more. I'll just tell you my feeling. I do notice that the keys for the Jupiter are a lot lighter in touch than these ones. You take a little bit of work to get it to come back up. But the Jupiter, it just comes right up. It's so light. So that's a really good thing. Oh, one more thing that you might be interested in knowing is that Yamaha is way heavier than the Jupiter. Overall, I like the response of this one more. It gives a warmer sound, it's less harsh, but that might be just me. I like more mellow sounds. This one tends to be more shrill. But the nice thing about the Jupiter, the high register speaks really easily. I think that's why this one would be good for students who are just doing school band. You do have to work a little bit to get the high register on this one, but it's a nicer sound. So. Low register, Yamaha wins. Jupiter, you have to work to get those low notes. But you don't really use those low notes in school bands. So it's whichever one you go to. I mean, if you're going to a youth orchestra, I would probably get the Yamaha. But if you're doing only school band stuff, I would get the Jupiter. That's my take on it. What do you like? Yamaha? Jupiter. If there's anything else that you guys want me to talk about in the future, let me know. Oh, by the way, do you like my makeup? It's like a sort of wearable smoky eye. So I realized I didn't even tell you what I was even playing when I was trying out the Yamaha and Jupiter flutes. Instead of telling you guys I thought it'd be fun to do a little bit of a contest. So if you can go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash justanotherflutist, comment below the link of this video that you will see there and tell me which three excerpts they were. They are not orchestral excerpts. I'll give you a hint, two of them aren't typical flute excerpts. First person to guess all three correct will be seeing a video of their choice. Here are the choices. One is a makeup tutorial, any makeup look that you want. Second choice is a review of two other student model flutes that I can easily get my hands on. You can give me the names of which flutes you would like to see. Third choice is an interview with one of my friends from the UBC School of Music. It can be an instrumentalist, a composer, singer, anything. There you go, those are your three choices, basically your sort of video prize. Have at it, I'll see you on my Facebook page. Bye!